Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now, in this video, I do want to go over what I believe are the top seven money making methods here in Red Dead Online so that you guys can make the most amount of money possible in a per hour basis. Now, if you guys don't necessarily agree with my list, then leave a comment down below letting me know what you would put as the top seven, the full top seven, and the reasons why you would put your top seven in the top seven places because I'm going to give you guys the reasons why I believe. Now, as I previously mentioned, this is going to be based on a per hour basis because most players have about an hour of time that they want to be able to put into the game. So these are the top seven ways per hour to make the most amount of money possible. But if you guys want to continue seeing these types of videos, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. Also, don't forget to hit that bell so you guys get notified each and every single time that I do drop a video just like this one. And on a quick side note, we have a lot of other games that I do play here on the channel, so definitely check those out. And I do have a website, which is GamerCorey.com. If you want to submit some funny moments here of Red Dead Online or Grand Theft Auto or whatever it is, whatever game you want to do it, uh, either PvP or Hilarious Moments, you can submit that clip to me on my website, which is GamerCorey.com. So let's go ahead and kind of give you guys an overview of what you guys can expect. You guys are seeing some videos here in the background, and these are letting you guys know that I've tested every possible money-making method. Now, every money-making method technically is a viable way of making money, regardless of the amount of money that you truly make here in Red Dead Online. You guys have seen that I did some showdowns. Uh, you're making about $102 per hour. You saw that I was able to get the MB MVP. I was the first place in the game, made $17, and that was roughly in about 10 minutes. I did some Stranger Danger missions. I did some bounty hunting. I brought in somebody that was dead, somebody that was alive. You can make more money by waiting until you get to that 30 seconds or less on a Stranger Danger mission. Um, however, why would you want to sit around when you can be making more money in doing a different activity than just only a few dollars more? That used to be a great way of making money. A while back but it's not one of the best ways of making money in today's red dead online now everybody's experiences are going to be a little bit different especially if you are a brand new player to red dead online as you won't have access to all of the equipment that more experienced players have once you get to a little bit higher of a rank so there's going to be some money that you need to be able to so it takes money to, to make money is ultimately what it is. And it just takes a little bit of grinding. And there are some options in this video that will allow you to get on the best track right away so you guys can start that path to making the most amount of money, money possible. So hopefully with those notes, you guys understand uh, kind of where we're going with in this video. And I know that this is a long intro, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the top seven money-making methods for Red Dead Online as of right now, as we don't know exactly what the Moonshiner role is going to be giving to us here in just a few days. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, coming in at number seven on our list for the best ways to make money per hour is collecting family heirlooms. Now, there is a location here at Maddock Pond, which is just outside of Rhodes, and I'm just kind of giving you guys some examples here, but they, some of them will require that you have the field shovel and also the metal detector in order to collect them. This one's a little bit different because you actually don't need either of them to collect them. And you can see that I can take this comb right here and it's going to get added into my inventory. Now there is a total of 15 different locations and they do change their cycle locations each and every single day. So you'll have to know exactly where they are at in order to collect them. But if you do collect Collect all 15 of the family heirlooms you will make $292.50 and it does take you about an hour to collect the entire set so that's the reason that I am putting it at number seven because of the $292.50 now coming in at number six on my list is actually lake sturgeon fishing in Blackwater now you can actually see that there is a lake sturgeon right there and this one's on my list at number six for a couple different reasons. I thought about putting it at number seven just because this one has the most variables attached with it and it seems to be have been nerfed. But during its prime people were making up to $400 per hour and actually I have an old old video where I was able to even do that. Uh, 
and it was one of the best ways to make a lot of money. Uh, you will need to buy a fishing rod in order to, to do this, and I do recommend that you either use um, your special river lure or special lake lure for these guys. Now, the nice thing about the special lure is it will cost you four gold for either one, um, but they are more attracted to it, and it also cannot break compared to just the regular... Uh, lake or river lure so now we can actually see that there's there's one in here but sometimes what you may need to do is uh, fish right here and then grab this one and then walk down up along this side here up along this uh, cliff side and then just move to different locations until you can actually find another one that peninsula out there is also a really good uh, good opportunity and you can also use your hunting wagon as a place to actually go ahead and put all of your fish in. Uh, now you will make $7.25 per fish, and you can get a fish um, and make about $100 per 15 minutes. Now the variables that I was mentioning before are is that if there are other players in the area, it does seem like the lake sturgeon seem to spawn less. So you might have to just move up and down this coast in order to get them to spawn. Otherwise, another really good location for them to spawn is actually over by roads, which would actually be like along this coast here. Now, the reason that I prefer doing it in Blackwater is there is a butcher literally just right across the street. And that's how you're able to make the most amount of money fast. And what you can do is you can use your horse and bring your horse over here, put one on the horse, and then cast out and catch another one, and then bring them both over. And then you're going to have $14.50 for instead of having to run across the road twice but it's completely up to you but that's the reason that it is number six on my list now coming in at number five on our list is actually collecting the lost jewelry necklaces now this one does require you guys to have the field shovel and also the metal detector as you can see that i do have this out on my screen here and this one i always found is to be a little bit more tricky to find it's kind of in this kind of in a weird spot in the brush there we go and here we go we got this one and this one should be our um a necklace right here but you can see that we had to use the metal detector from admin Nazar, and then we also had to use the field shovel to dig it up dig that up and then we have nine total neck necklaces now most of the necklace locations will actually take you uh, because there are only nine will take you less than an hour to actually complete but you will make three hundred and thirty five dollars like I said, in about an hour's worth of time. Again, there's a drawback. You do have to purchase the collector, and if you don't already have it, that could be 15 gold. Um, so there is that purchase if you can't quite get it for free. And then you obviously will have to eventually rank up so that you can get the field shovel and also the metal detector. Now, coming in at number four on our list today is actually lost jewelry earrings. Now, there's a decent amount of these around the world, and they do change every single day depending on the cycles. And uh, you will need to have your shovel and also a metal detector, so that means you'll have to have the collector roll and a high enough rank in order to purchase the shovel and also the metal detector as well, like some of the previous ones that we've already gone over. Um, you can kind of see the correlation with them. So if you want to make a lot of money pretty quickly, I do recommend that you go and purchase the field shovel well, the, the, the collector roll, then the field shovel, and then the metal detector when you can. Again, these will take you about an hour of your time to collect all of them. There are three separate cycles each and every single day. Not every day, but they rotate every day. So there's only one cycle per day, and there's only one location that you can always find them at the exact same locations every day. And then there's a couple random spots where you can find them as well. Um, however, you can make $364.50 by collecting the lost jewelry earrings. Now coming in at the number three spot is again, lost jewelry. But this time we are gonna be looking at the lost jewelry rings. Now in this case, they do require you guys to typically have the field shovel. You can find some of them without the metal detector and also without having to purchase the field shovel. Um, however, Majority of them do require these, but we can dig up this location right here, and we're actually going to get some lost jewelry. Uh, these are rings for these, so 
Um, again, there's not as many locations around the map. There are 11 of them. Uh, once you get a full set, you can sell them to Mad Mazar personally, like the other collecting collection sets. Or you can sell them via the post office, depending on wherever you are closest. Now, collecting all of these rings, well, there we got a daily challenge out of the way, which means that I got up to 0.5 gold. Um, and then you also will get the money, like which is $370. Now, there are 11 locations. Again, they, the cycles are the same as I previously mentioned in the video. But you will... Um, be able to sell them for a good amount of money and they only take about an hour of your time as well now coming in at number two which i had a hard time placing number one and number two which if you guys can go ahead and take a look around us you should be able to figure out what our number two possibility for making money or the best option to making money here in red dead online and that is actually being a trader now the trader uh, it does take a significant investment and it does take a little bit of time as well But I'm gonna try to break this down as quickly as I possibly can for you guys because it is a Fantastic way of making money here on Red Dead Online and I definitely and highly recommend that you take advantage of it and especially with either friends or in a small posse um Four people is going to be the best option if you can. Now let's go and take a look at this as I do have a full camp that I can sell. Now to get the best trading possibility, you will have to have a large delivery wagon, which means that you'll have the small one when you first start. You'll have to purchase the medium once you get to a certain point and then purchase Sometimes the large the one. So nice. there are there are stepping stones that you have to do in order to get to this point. On top of that, you're going to have to get go out and hunt. So you might have to purchase the hunting wagon in order to do this. But once you start getting everything together and you're able to purchase all of those things, once the investment has chain. been made, then you can actually just start hunting. Uh, I have to stop that there because Crips is getting a little bit annoying. But I, you will be able to go hunting and then use either your hunting wagon and bring back your, your materials that way. Or you can actually individually hunt for them. Uh, Three-star deer are a great option um, depending on where you do place your camp. And I do recommend you placing your camp in a couple different locations. Number one, the Heartlands is really, really good location. Big Valley is also a pretty good location as you do have access to a cougar over there. Um, and also Blue Water Marsh, considering that there are so many different varieties of animal animals there. But those are some of the main spots that I try to get to. And the closer that I can get to the overflow, the Heartland overflow, the better I like it. Just because there are um, deer, geese, ducks, so many different things that you can actually put inside of your hunting wagon. And it will make it that much more uh, better for you. Now, this will take about an hour and a half for to get your camp your trading company to full supplies so that's that the 100 goods so it does take you more than an hour to do that but you can do it over time now if you're going to break the reason that i put it at number two is because if you were to break it down per hour and you're going to be doing your distant delivery which you have the possibility of losing but you will make more money at that 625 dollars because rival traders will be able to attack you on a distant delivery but if you do a local delivery, you'll make significantly less, $125 less, which means that your per hour income goes down by a lot, but you don't have to worry about anybody else targeting you for that delivery. So based on the distant delivery, you guys will make $418 roughly per hour. And that's the reason that I actually had to put it on number two, because it does take about an hour and a half pretty consistently to get your full goods now there are options that you can do to get more goods one participating in trade route is a really good option and i really hope that they had put more options for the trader because it's the only new role that's out there that only has one free roam event available to us um so that's not that great when it comes to the the trader um and again, like I said, it does require some investment. You have to get the hunting wagon and buy the medium um, delivery wagon, the large delivery wagon. And then um, having other friends help you will actually, when you do a, because then you have to do resupply missions. And if you don't do the resupply missions, that means you have to hunt more because you can get materials up to 20, depending on if there are four people in your posse. There's just a lot of information to go over when you're talking about the trader role itself. But once you get past all of that, 
you have the materials that you need. You're able to either order the supplies or do a resupply mission. Try to do it with four people if you can because they can each bring back five materials for you and then do the trade route. And then you're going to be able to do it a lot quicker than that hour and a half. And then you can go ahead and sell at a distant delivery of $625 and a local delivery of $500. But like I mentioned already, the per hour based on the distant delivery, if it does take you a full hour and a half to do it, and it also depends on if animals will spawn in your session or not. Does bring it down to about $418 per hour. Now, before we actually get into the number one best way, at least that I believe is the best money-making opportunity here in Red Dead Online, please leave a comment down below if you got this far. And also let me know what you think my number one best money-making method is here for Red Dead Online. So coming in at number one for the best money-making method for about an hour worth of time for Red Dead Online. If you said coins, then you guys are correct. Now coins do net you uh, $540 once you get in an entire collector set. However, it does take you a little bit over an hour to do it. So it still nets you about $500 per hour. Now, these coins, again, are part of the cycle base, and you will be able to uh, collect them each and every single day. But you can only collect them once, and it does require, and all of them do require, a field shovel and a metal detector and, of course, the collector roll. Um, and if you guys have been paying attention, five out of my seven top money-making methods involve being a collector. Highly recommend that you guys put the time and energy into being a collector and finding all the collecting locations that you can. Now, if you guys want to make the most amount of money with the collector each and every single day, I do drop a video letting you guys know exactly what cycle it is and where you can find each and every collectible set. And if you want to make $540 with a snap of your finger each and every day and spend an hour of time each and every day if that's all that you have, then you can then you just have to watch my video, come back every day, click on that link and make $540 every single day. That's all you need to do. That's it. Simple as that. But hopefully you guys did enjoy my seven top money making methods as I have done literally everything from hunting to fishing to stranger danger missions to free roam events to anything that you guys can imagine because I have been playing here in Red Dead Online for over a year and I've done it all. Now again, these are the top seven money making methods period, but they might not necessarily be for you based on where your current rank and role is at and you guys are able to put into these business adventures. However, before you do the trader and start doing the trading camp, I recommend if you're going to pick either the collector or the trader role because trader was the number two role, go after the collector, spend that 15 gold, and then go after the field shovel and the metal detector as soon as you can because honestly, that's all you're going to need in order to get every single collectible that's out there and you can make over $4,000 per day with the collector role. It's very, very simple, and that's exactly how I've made all of my money here in Red Dead Online, especially since the update uh, with the Frontier Pursuits. But if you guys did enjoy the video or found it informative uh, or helpful in any way, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it, and you guys stay gaming. I'm gonna go